Oh, this is so crooked, but also my camera's staying, so maybe I should just not jinx it. Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and welcome back to my channel. Today it is only a few degrees over 20, 20 and change degrees, um, which isn't even the worst part. It's also incredibly windy, so my ears are like nearly close to falling off. What did I decide to do today? of my own volition. I decided to frolic around Manhattan trying to find all the places that are offering new vegan donuts. Manhattan has a few locations that, you know, serve vegan donuts, whether it be fully vegan donuts or vegan options, but I've heard some rumblings in the community of a couple new places that have recently, and by recently I mean like in the past year, because I'm a little bit late to the party, rolled out vegan donuts. There are three places on my list. I don't know if these rumors are true. I don't know if they're gonna be, you know, in stock. But we're just gonna, you know, taste what we could taste and see what we could see. This was definitely a hat day, should have worn a hat today. I also got a new mask and I thought it was gonna look very chic. And now I just feel like a duckling. Why is it so big and so orange? I'm really hoping you can hear me through the mask and over the wind, but our first stop is the Donut Project. I haven't been here before, ever, like vegan or otherwise, so a true First impressions taste test. This girl seems to like it, so good sign. Oh, it looks so cute in there. Only one customer group at a time, so I guess we have to wait for a yellow jacket girl to leave. Oh my goodness, these look so good. So these are all the vegan options there. I got one of each vegan option. We have a strawberry glaze, a like maple glaze. This one's called the Coco Loco. It's like caramel and coconut and chocolate. And this one is the cereal milk. I'm gonna perhaps see if that place is open and see if I could use their indoor eating area just to take a few bites. Roberto is so great. You know why? My camera's dying, right? And I'm only at spot one. I really... I was planning to bring like extra batteries, but then I realized that like one needed charging, so I left it in the charger for a little bit, but the little bit turned into permanently because I came into Manhattan without an extra battery and with like half a battery in my camera. And I called him upset, and then he was like, let me bring you the battery. He's bringing me the battery. So we're about to start with the most delicious looking one. This one looks amazing. Wait, this might be the best donut I've ever had. All right, show's over. I just had the best donut in the world. No point in keeping on going, bye. What? Now I'm kind of excited for Roberto to get here so I can feed it to him. Um, wow, okay, now I'm excited. Let's see the strawberry one. Same exact texture. Wow, so good. The strawberry is like refreshing. Strawberry milk-esque. Oh, the donut itself is kind of crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. This is amazing. What the heck? Wait. Maple glaze. I am not generally a fan of sweets, but my mind is being blown right now. Lastly, cereal milk. This one is so crunchy because of the cereal. I'm not quite sure what cereal milk is supposed to taste like. It kind of tastes like a plain glazed donut with extra crunch. Still really good. With no exaggeration, this may be my new favorite donut place. I can't wait for Roberto to get here. What do you think of the donuts? The donuts are really good. He has a gold tooth, look at that. Thank you. Next place is called Donut Pub. Again, I've never been, so it's gonna be full first impressions. Now that is funny. I like that. That is funny. We're on 14th Street, and it's somewhere down here. Oh, I see it. You can't really tell. It's right there. It's like, you're down that way. Here it is, and I even see a little sign in the front for the vegan ones. Look at that. It smells so good in here. Look at all these donuts. They have four vegan ones, four vegan flavors, right, right there. And I grabbed three of them. Let's go. I ended up getting cinnamon sugar, plain glazed, and chocolate dipped. They also had plain, like not glazed at all, but why would I eat that? The reason why I got mini donuts is because I didn't need three giant donuts. And I thought they were cute and different. I'm gonna start with a plain mini one. Dunkin' Donut Hole vibes. Now the chocolate one. I know exactly what this tastes like. The chocolate dipped ones 
tastes exactly like the Entenmann's chocolate dip donut. These, you know, you know which ones I'm talking about? I swear, I haven't thought about or eaten these in years, but as soon as I took a bite, like, memories came flooding back. Memories of church basements and after service fellowship. If you know, you know. Okay, now this one, not gonna lie, the cinnamon sugar looks like sand. But I'm down to try it. That one's not my favorite. This one needs to be dipped in coffee or something. It's a little bit dry. And the cinnamon sugar texture is very sandy. I don't even know if that's pimples or chocolate anymore. I've got the mask knee real bad. Could be worse, but let's not jinx it. So yeah, the cinnamon sugar donut is a no. The mini chocolate and vanilla, real nostalgic. Pretty decent. On to the next. I think there's a place called Dough Donuts on this street. For some reason, when I put it into maps, it doesn't pop up, but we're still gonna look for it. I literally almost walked right past it, but I see a little flag with a dough. Oh, oh, there it is. Dough Donuts. I think I see two. Those two look vegan. I was excited I found a good place to film. And then they started doing that. These are some of the most beautiful donuts I've ever seen. This one is hibiscus and this one is cinnamon sugar. This is what cinnamon sugar is supposed to look like. Look, it looks delicious. I almost feel a little bit mean doing this, but cinnamon sugar, not cinnamon sugar. This is the texture you're going for, not that one. Okay, they stopped construction for a minute, so I'm definitely gonna take advantage and try these donuts right here. This is the, or I'm literally right in front of the place. First off, look at this, it, we're twins. Wow. That texture is more of a true donut than the first donut place we went to. And the flavor is spot on. So freaking good. These donuts and the first donut place, Donut Project, I'm terrible with names. They were on the same price. They were like $4.50 each, which is like a normal artisan donut price. The second place we went to, Donut Pub, it was a little bit cheaper because I got four mini donuts and the bigger cinnamon sugar one for like $5 total, but the quality difference. I will pay extra like any day of the week. This is so freaking good. The cinnamon sugar one is like melting in my hand. Amazing, fantastic job. Like both of them. Although I think I like the hibiscus one a little bit more. All right, I'm squatting down to give you my final thoughts. Better, better, audio down here, I think. I'd say Dough Donuts and Donut Project both did a fantastic job. Absolutely phenomenal, delicious. They're very different kinds of donuts though. If you're looking for a true donut, Dough Donuts. If you're looking for like a little bit of a cake donut, Donut Project. But in terms of like quality and deliciousness, I would put them on a very similar playing field. Both amazing. Donut Pub, on the other hand, sad to say, wasn't a fan. The little ones were okay, they were good, they just taste like mass-produced little Entenmann's donuts, and the cinnamon sugar one is not good at all. That is my thoughts. Um, if you know of any other place that recently rolled out vegan donuts, then let me know. I know, Donut Plant has really good donuts. We're also in New York City. I mean, Dunwell, of course, is a classic, but I'm talking about like the bigger chains, right? So that's the result of today's shenanigans. Hope you enjoyed getting the inside scoop. Drop a like for my co-stars, these trash bags. And that is all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram over these trash bags. And that is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, and Andrew. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.